Okay, so Charlie, Joy, out in Dubai, preparing for the World Championships. You've got a game in two days on Saturday. What's the feeling been like in the camp? How's preparation been going? Yeah, really well, I think. Um, you know, as a team, we're in a, we're in a good place. And I think just excited now to, to get going and get out on court and compete, really. Yeah, like Charlie said, um, we've done all the preparation now. Now it's just to show the world what we what we can do and show them how we can play and just play team basketball. And has it been a little bit difficult? Maybe obviously the, the championships were supposed to be back in November last year. Has it been, has that delay been a little bit difficult? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially for us, we both play abroad and I'm out in Spain. So when that delay was announced, it changed us. The whole layout of our season and when games were meant to be and when rest was meant to be so it did change a lot of things and it meant that it's kind of been non-stop now because of when they got postponed to so it's been a lot of build-up both from the season and from like build-up specifically for this so I think now it's just exciting it's actually here to go and play yeah and then um, obviously it's so, good no you carry on as I said, just obviously straight after you're almost practically straight into the European Championships. Uh, yes, that's right. Um, I was going to say that we just recently had a new coach um, within the last year and a half, um, uh, Miguel. Um, so having the World Championships being delayed has kind of helped us, um, especially in terms of what um, the coach wants us to play and just getting to learn the new style of play and stuff like that. So it's kind of helped us a bit more. That's good. And for you two in particular, so you two have been playing together since, what, you were 13, 14 years old. And what's that experience been like, just being able to share that kind of journey together? Um, you know, it's pretty amazing. Um, it's kind of crazy to look back at all the tournaments that we played together. Um, thinking back in, was it 2014 was my first one. And just thinking about how much we've both progressed in our careers and, as a person as well, um, the confidence that we've got now, um, it's just so good to see. And what's what's your favourite thing about the way each other play each other's game? Um, I think for me, I like how mobile and agile and quick Joy is and just how seamlessly she is as a ball handler it makes everything look so easy and so good. And I think it's amazing. And my opinion of Charlotte is that I think she is probably one of the best one-pointers in the world. Um, and her shooting is phenomenal. And the way she plays defense is like no other one-pointer in the world. That's awesome. That's I, I like that from you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you both mentioned, so you're both playing overseas. Uh, Charlie, you're in Spain. Uh, Joy in Alabama in the States. Um, do you find, what's the most important thing you've learned um, or sort of developed about your game being being overseas? Um, I think for me, I'm playing in a in a mixed league, so it's predominantly men. So I think I've learned that you have to be so physical in that league. And I think that's something that's good to bring over for playing, for playing here especially. Um, just like roles are so different playing out there to here. So I have developed a lot more playing kind of different styles. So it's nice to kind of bring it all together when I when I come back. Yeah, and for me, um, playing at Alabama, uh, I think it's helped me in various different ways. Um, mostly it's helped me to be able to play with different players, but also develop my leadership role as well. So that's been very useful. That's great. And, and speaking of leadership, so you two are, are veterans of this GB team. Um, how is it? How important is it for you to be able to share your experience with some of the younger players coming through? I think it's really amazing to be in that position that kind of we were that age once and I think it's really exciting for them to to be here and get all these amazing experiences. Um, and I think we just want them to enjoy it and make the most of the opportunity whilst they're, whilst they're here. Yeah, we've got a couple of rookies, as we call them. Um, and it's kind of nice and refreshing to have them on the team because we have been on the team for so long. It's kind of nice to have that new perspective, like that energy, the buzz, um, like excitement for the first tournament. And it's kind of rubbing off on both of us. Was there any particular player when you both started playing that you kind of looked up to on the squad or that, that took you under their wing a bit? 
In terms of role model or like on our team, if that makes sense, like players that I look up to or players from GB? Players from GB. But if you've got a general role model, uh, let them let them know. I think gem generally for myself, I've got a couple of players that I look up to. Um, for me, like Jitska Visser, uh, one of the mm -hmm. Dutch girls, I think she's one of the best one-pointers in the world. Um, and uh, a German player called Anna Kazayan when she was playing, uh, she was just incredible. And they're two low pointers that I watched a lot and have tried to learn off them and to make them the player that I am now. Yeah, and for me, um, probably within GB, um, Laurie Williams. She's recently um, had a baby, um, but her physicality and the way she finishes her own rim um, is something that I aspire to be like. And she is just a good person as well. So um, I look up to her. And you both played in the Commonwealth Games last year. We've had the Women's Premier League in the UK. Um, the growth around women's wheelchair basketball just seems to be getting bigger and bigger. Um, have you have you um, enjoyed that, that being part of that? Yeah, 100%. I think um, just with being abroad, obviously we're not part of the WPL, but I believe that the Commonwealth was an amazing experience and it opened our sport up to such a new range of people, like players and people that necessarily wouldn't have watched our sport. Um, but because it was all linked with kind of the able-bodied game and the women's game, it was all in the same place. I think it made it a lot more accessible to so many people. Um, and it was really nice to have that crowd and that energy. And hopefully so many more people will have seen wheelchair basketball and thought, oh, yeah, like I enjoy that. Asthma. I want to go and see again. I mean, the, the atmosphere there was amazing. I was at a few games and it was just just incredible, the buzz around it. Yeah, so, definitely, especially as what well, um, being part of a home team. Um, mm -hmm. It was kind of cool to have the backing um, of the crowds there. And it was also good that both able-bodied and wheelchair basketball were joined together. So it kind of felt more like a one team. Yeah, and um, obviously coming home with a medal as well. So congratulations. Um, so you. what what do you want uh, people to know about wheelchair basketball and about the World Championships? Why should they watch you this weekend and, the, and next week? I think our sport is so fast and physical and it's such a dynamic sport to watch. Um, you know, like there's so many different plays and different things that happen. Um, I think it's just quite an exciting, exciting sport to watch. And especially a championship like the World Championships, there's so many good teams here that a lot of the games you watch will be, will be high, high caliber games. Yeah, like Charlie said, wheelchair basketball is very fast-paced sport. Um, I know that pe when people have come to wheelchair basketball games, uh, watched it live um, in front of them, they normally like be able to smell the rubber on, off the tyres and see people crash and fall out of their chairs. Like That's all part of the game, but that's what's amazing about it is that we just get right back up and t get to play basketball. Um, but the teams will be very, very good um, here at the World Championships. Um, so we're just looking forward to that. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time and good luck for Saturday and the, the rest of the tournament. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.